Now, um, on the bugs, changes in other and then characters. The first bug that I think we all can agree on is sometimes your reboot card, like it lets you think you die, uh, and you're like dead, dead, not, not crawling, you're like dead, dead. Your card will appear in the middle of the map, but on your ground. So your teammate can't even pick up your reboot card because it'll be in the middle on your ground. And obviously there's no way to go underground and get your card when it's glitched underground in the middle of the map. And then um, jump not working a wall is walling hit. This has pissed me off so many times in the game where like I'm against like a wall or like a fence or like a like a like a small it's not even a wall, it's like a fucking rock. Like the smallest rock you could ever imagine. And I'm spamming the A button, trying to jump over it while I'm getting hit, and I'm just rolling. You know, like if you're against a wall, and like it's not even a wall, it's like a fucking rock. You should, if you're trying to jump over, you should jump over it while getting hit. Cause that's happened so many times, and it's so annoying. I don't, I don't think that's like a, really a bug, but it's like something that you should definitely look at. Uh, number three is fixed black whip type moves. I've already mentioned this like ten times in like all my streams and today. Black whip, burgers, wires, and froppy. It just doesn't work sometimes, and it's like most of the time. And I'll put like a fucking long ass montage of that. Or moves don't come out, but takes the use. I already mentioned this is like Ochako, Bagarosa's cannons, um, and other characters where the moves won't come out while you're getting hit, but it'll take up the cooldown. Or they will come out, but they won't work. Like they'll do nothing. Like the moves will show up, but they won't do nothing. So I don't know if that's a glitch or anything, but it's annoying. Um, item cards don't work. Same as moves one hit. Oh yeah, so like let's just say you're, like again for Yagi Rose Cannons, your truck was rocks, it moves like that. Um you know like you could pick up a purple card, a green card, a blue card, a red card, a fucking yellow card. And like let's just say the green card gives you like uh, it'll give you a little uh, green health bubble. Let's just say you're like in the air or getting hit and you're spamming, like you you spamming the fucking uh, item. It sometimes won't even work. Or it'll take over the item but it won't like activate. And it's worked exactly like the glitch with the moves. So where, like, you're spamming it, but it won't come out while you're getting hit. Or sometimes while you're not even getting hit at all, it'll just not work. And that's enough uh, of the bugs for now. As for like, changes in other, um, this one's kind of like, I'm going to talk about it more other t another day. Because this is one can be like a whole hour conversation. Presets or custom movesets. So we can all agree that not every character in the game, but most characters in this game, I'm looking at you Deku and Bakugo, have moves that aren't in the game. Let's just say for example, right, um, Deku has like 9 quirks now, or like whatever the fuck he has now. And Bakugo has like Howard Sir Impact, he has like, um, and Bakugo even has Quirk Awaken in Season 6. Bakugo has, um, Cluster, uh, Explosion Cluster and shit, so that's a bunch of moves there. And every move Bakugo has in the game right now is actually from the movies, if you don't know. The flame wheel thing is from Heroes Rising. And the uh, sniper is from Heroes Rising. And the bombs are from like, uh, it's not really from the movie, but it's from like World Heroes Missions, if you want to count it. He doesn't have Halvester Impacts, he doesn't have um, Sun Grenade. So let's just say they add like, um, you know how like, they have costumes and characters you can summon for? What if you could, like for example, this is just an example. What if they make a banner? Instead of the character or an outfit, you go summon for attacks. Let's just say the first banner for attacks is Bakugo Howitzer Impact. Let's just say you summon the banner and you get Howitzer Impact. You go into Customize, you go to Bakugo, and you see like in, uh, when you go to Customize Character, and you click on the character, there'll be Costume, Voice, Emote, and Emblem. What if there's a fifth option called Skills? You go on Skills, and you can pick which skills, which three skills you want for your character. And for Deku, I think Deku should be the only one to do this. Maybe Deku on his skills can change his special skill. Because I've been thinking about Vigilante Deku a lot. Because you have the Purple Mist, you have Float, you have Fajin, and you have Danger Sense. I've been thinking about this really hard, and I don't think any of those moves could be skills. I think they only work as special skills. Let me explain. Float. Who really thinks that should be a skill? That should be a special action. Let's look at the purple mist. Purple mist could maybe be a skill. I think it will work. 
Actually, you know what? I think let's, let's give that a pass, right? That's the only one that could work as a skill and not a special action. Danger Sense? It would be so broken as a skill because if you just spam it, right? I think that's, that should be a special action. Um, what's the Fajin? Um, so I don't think there's any. Uh, the only thing that reminds me of Fajin is Eda's or Serbo Turbo, but it's like different, right? So that's like the only one that's like maybe could be a special action or like maybe it could be um a skill. And maybe uh, Deku and, ba and Kirishima can have unique special actions like that. Yeah, and like customized like that, you know? Plus Ultra should give health and shields and activate when crawling. So Plus Ultra gives you full shield back, but it doesn't touch your health. I think I should definitely give you your health back because ultimately no one, there, there is no one, and I mean no one who thinks Plus Ultra is busted. Because it won't win you fights. It really won't win you fights. Um, especially in a 1v3. Or like something like that. Especially if like 1 HP and you get your shield back. Who, like if you're 1 HP and you get your shield back from plus ultra, who cares? You're still gonna get killed. It should give you your health back and shields. And it still won't make it- And that's the crazy part is that even if you give you health and shields, it still won't be broken. And I've also noticed 99% of the time I have plus ultra, it's the second I die. I feel like if you get plus ultra, even if you're crawling, not dead dead obviously, but if you're crawling and you get plus ultra, maybe you have 10 seconds. Let's just, let's just say you're crawling, right? And you're your plus ultra act like up. They should give you 5 to 10 seconds to use it to get yourself back up. But like, let's just say you wait 5 seconds and you don't use plus ultra, then you can't use it while you're crawling. You know what I mean? Just cause like, it's so frustrating when you get it when you die. And you don't have it for the, the whole match. But they finally get it, but then you, like you die before you get it. You know what I mean? Solos and duos. There's trios in this game. I don't think they're gonna add uh, for, like a Fortnite has squads with four people, with four players. But we should definitely have solo and duo. I know they're adding crossplay, so like they're busy adding game modes right now. But we need solos and some kind of like duo, because sometimes being trios is annoying, especially when people leave. So, clothing tickets should work to character. So like, for example, right. Of uh, the Yayorozu, Kirishima, and Ibarra, that are on the banners right now. When those three characters go away from the banners, um, you can use character tickets to unlock them when the banners go away. So if you remember, Kaminari, Kendo, and Ibarra, no, it was Ida, Kaminari, and Kendo, you can use character tickets to unlock them. That's how you're going to get Yayorozu, Kirishima, and Ibarra when the banners go away. You can't do it now, but only when the banners go away. What so like for right now the current banner in the game is a Deku, a Deku, Todoroki and Bakugo outfit. When the banner goes away, there should be separate not character tickets but like maybe a clothing ticket, so where you can unlock the thing if you don't if you didn't get from summoning. And that can be the same way to get hero tickets where you get like those little orb things from getting duplicates of summons. It's a separate ticket you can get from the shop because it's gonna be so annoying you get characters but not the outfits. Storm shouldn't affect self revive. So you know, like, um, if you're crawling, not dead, dead, but like, uh, dead, um, you can revive yourself if you last 20 seconds without getting hit, and the timer pauses whenever you get hit. Like that makes sense, right? Because if you're getting hit, you can't just get revived while you're fucking, like, you know, getting obliterated or whatever. But the storm acts like, uh, like getting, like, obviously does do damage. Or, like storm does hit you, but I think it's so stupid. Like, I think that should be the one exception to it. To where, like, if you're in storm crawling, it should still do damage. Like, I'm not saying it should do no damage, but it should still, like, do damage to you. But your timer should still go down. You know what I mean? Like, the timer should still be going, even if you're gonna hit by storm. But it's 100% fine if you're gonna get hit by a player and the, and the timer pauses. Like, that's fine. I feel like storm should be the exception, though. Level up cards should have separate spot and reboots. So you know like in the item bag, right? You can have the shield potions, the health potions, the reboot cards, and the rainbow cards, and like the pink, fucking purple, blue, yellow, you know what I mean, the green card, like the fucking emblem cards, or whatever the fuck they're called. The fucking types, Pokemon types. You can have all those cards in your inventory. I'm not saying have it fucking organized, like a fucking, fucking, you know, have it shit organized or some shit, but like, I'll have multiple bags. Like maybe like on the side of the bag, it should be all exclusively like rainbow cards, and like um, cause it's so annoying to look through your hot bar. It's even more annoying when you don't have like a storage bag, and you have six spots, right? Those six spots should just be healing items, and there should be a separate pouch, 
like right next to it for the like the purple or like the fucking rainbow cards. You know what I mean? Because it looks so annoying. And there should be a separate like slot for the reboots. Because it's so annoying to have everything in the same bag. And then when you die and get revived, like let's just say you die, right? And you have like level 7 in all of your moves. If you die and get revived, you're stuck at level 1. And without your bag, it makes sense. Because when you die, you drop your bag and you drop all of your items. I feel like if you die and get revived, you should get your levels back. Or reduce them by half. So let's just say you had level 4 in all of your moves. They should get revived to level 2. You know, because it's so annoying when there's like two teams left, you just got revived, and your opponents have full level 9, and you're stuck at level 1. You know what I mean? Like, I understand it, it's like fair, because you die, you know, you should get some penalty for getting revived. But it's like, how are you going to fight three people with level 9 with level 1 moves at the final of Storm is so small? Um, next section is characters I want 